Shamai! Welcome to episode one of Show Us Your Ukes. So what is Show Us Your Ukes? I did uh, post a video to ask you to enter. Um, basically, I want to showcase your ukuleles from around the world. It might be a case that you just like looking at ukuleles like me, or you might see something that'll actually inspire you, maybe to buy a new ukulele or even how you display your ukuleles. This is something I've actually been thinking about and planning for a very long time. Um, I've been absolutely amazed at the response. Um, obviously, today's episode and I've certainly got enough entries for the next episode because I do intend this to be an ongoing series. So if you'd like to see your ukulele or ukuleles featured on Show Us Your Ukes, in the description below there'll be a link to a video which explains everything. It's really nice and easy. So I hope you're going to enjoy this. So please sit back, enjoy while I show you some fabulous ukuleles. So for episode one, we've got Mike Laley. That's Mike from Worcestershire in England. He describes himself as an enthusiastic strummer stroke singer and has been playing for about four years. He plays ukulele, bass ukulele and kazoo. We can see there one of his tiger sopranos. He has two of those. They actually belong to his twin grandsons who are only three. We've got a couple of lovely Baton Rouge ukes and a nice Carla journeyman bass and then there's another bass ukulele the Maholo solid bass ukulele also featuring flight phantom electroacoustics and a clear water electric tenor ukulele so that's a different part of the wall just in case you hadn't noticed all of Mike's ukes are very different in fact we're looking at a baton rouge with eight strings by there just to show the dedication from Mike I've got to say I am a little bit jealous of those. This is Mike's favourite ukulele. It's a Fana Pixelator. If you don't know about Fana ukes, they make awesome ukuleles in South Africa and they've got loads of different designs to choose from. Mike actually set up a beginners group back in January 2020 called Bugs, but unfortunately because of Covid they had to put that on hold and so he's actually started his own YouTube channel called Mike Laley's Tunes For You. And just to finish off, there's Mike's set up his little music room, so be sure to go and check out his YouTube channel. Thank you Mike for showing us your ukuleles. So next up is Ollie from Finland. He did actually mention to me he was going to have trouble taking the photos because there isn't much daylight at the moment in Finland at this time of the year. So I think he's done a cracking job of these pictures. He's been playing about a year and a half. This is his Harley Benton. It is an electric ukulele. I know this model quite well because my husband's actually got one. A great way of getting into electric ukulele. And here's his matching amp, again by Harley Benton. It's the Jam Box. Now, I don't know this amp, so I was quite interested to, to find out more information. And it's great to see this picture showing. It's got loads of features. We've got inbuilt effects on here, so there's no need to go out and get any pedals at the moment. About 12 years ago, Ollie's friend gave him this Mahola Y2K, the Millennium Edition of the Soprano Uke. As you can see, it's very different looking. Look at all of that glitter on there. He only actually picked it up and started playing it properly during lockdown, but has said that he will hopefully improve enough to justify getting a nicer ukulele one day. He did have a few little issues with the playability. So as you can see there, he's actually put some slots into the saddle. So there we go. That is Ollie's ukuleles from Finland. Thank you, Ollie, for showing us your ukes. <music> so 
So over to central California in the USA to see Stanley's ukulele collection very nicely displayed on the wall there. Stanley's been playing about five years and currently has 14 ukuleles in his collection, although some of them are actually out on loan. Here's his eight string Aklot tenor ukulele. Stan doesn't have a favorite. He enjoys playing them all. And of course, UAS means they're all different. Here's his Cadence Electro Acoustic strung with a low G. A really nice spruce top mahogany body on that one. Here's a Vorsen. This is a solid body electric ukulele. This one's in the Les Paul style. They've got steel strings on them. I've not tried a Vorsen. It would be interesting to see one of those. And I love the placement he's put here of his circle of fifth sticker really handy when you're playing and jamming another voice and this one in the telecaster style now i love the color of that sunburst and i know stan strings them up differently one's a traditional uke and the other one's baritone tuning here's his electric setup don't be fooled the Vox, even though it's only a 10 watt amp, is actually a valve amp. So I bet there's a brilliant sound off that. So there we go. That stands ukulele collection on the wall, including an Enya, a Carla, and his banjolele by Camise, and a triple, which is the larger instrument, and it's tuned to a baritone. Thanks, Stan, for showing us your ukes. So number four is Alan from North Yorkshire in England. It's his ukulele being shown very nicely in that traditional pose on the sofa. He's been playing a little while now. Here's his snail ebony ukulele, which is a tenor size. And then we see the Harley Benton bass ukulele. This has actually been borrowed from a friend. Alan does play bass guitar and is wondering whether or not to take up the bass ukulele as well. I say yes. Then we've got his favourite ukulele, the Cordoba Mahogany, which is a baritone, a Carla Ziracote, and sneaking in there is a nice little eight-string mandolin. Just in case any of you are wondering about those strings on that bass, they are actually made by Road Toad Music, the same people who make the Bahoho Dread bass uke strings. If you fancy looking at those, that's what they are. Lovely to see Alan's ukulele collection there. Thank you, Alan, for taking the time to show us your ukes. So last but definitely not least, we've got Rob and Diane's ukuleles, and they're actually in South Wales, so just up the road from me. Um, I've got to say there are some beautiful, beautiful instruments here. First off is one of Dai's ukuleles. It's a custom Antica Eucalaria Sacco uke. I believe that the body is actually jute, a biocomposite with some resin and wood. What a beautiful uke. And then we've got a couple of banjo ukuleles. The first one is a good time, banjo ukulele by Deering, and then the gold tone banjo ukulele. They are both concert size ukes. Then we've got Diane's collection. Her favourite ukulele is on the left, the Koaloa Opia, and then the Antica Eucalaria UFO. That's a different model. Again, absolutely stunning. Look at the colours on those. I love this idea. It's a little sopranino made by a friend of theirs, and they take it round various festivals and concerts, and it's been signed by absolutely loads of very famous ukulele players. Love that. Here's Rob's collection. His favourite ukulele on the left is the Blackbird Clara, but the Bellatona Blue Uke number two in the middle, what a stunner. And then his Pono electric solid body ukulele on the right. So as you can see from there, some absolutely stunning ukuleles, absolutely at this world. Thank you, Rob and Di, for showing us your ukes. So, what did you think? Did you enjoy? Did you like seeing other people's collections and the way they are set out? Again, thank you to everybody 
who has sent their pictures and info in so far. Um, another quick reminder, there'll be a link to a video in the description below explaining exactly how you can enter so you can show us your ukes. If you've got any further suggestions, I did actually stick with the title show with your uke in the end, although I did have some nice ideas. But if you've got any suggestions how this can be improved or which bits of it you've liked, please feel free, leave a comment or a question below. Give us a like if you've enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss out on new videos. Thank you for watching.